Hello everyone, welcome to ACE Preparation League. In this session, we are going to discuss about Breton cycle, which is also called Joule cycle. See, this Breton cycle or Joule cycle is the ideal cycle for gas turbines. So, let us see about this Breton cycle in detail. In this Breton cycle, we will come across four different processes, out of which two are isentropic process or reversible adiabatic process and two are isobaric process which are also called constant pressure process. Let us see the process description here. Process 1 to 2 is isentropic compression which obeys the law PV power gamma equal to constant. Then process 2 to 3 is constant pressure heat addition. So, pressure remains constant here. Then process 3 to 4 is isentropic expansion, PV power gamma equal to constant and process 4 to 1 is constant pressure heat rejection. So, pressure is constant during heat rejection also. So, here let us see the PV and TS diagrams. In the PV diagram, you can observe that process 1 to 2 is undergoing compression where the volume is decreasing and pressure is increasing and here the entropy is remaining constant during this compression process and as a result of that it is represented as a vertical line and as the pressure is increasing temperature also increases. So, therefore, it is pointing upwards. Then process 2 to 3 is constant pressure heat addition. So, during heat addition, the temperature increases and at the same time entropy also increases. And here, the maximum temperature is attained that is T3. So, T3 is taken as T max here and maximum pressure is P2 equal to P3. Then, process 3 to 4 is isentropic expansion. So, during expansion, the volume is increasing and pressure is decreasing and at the same time, temperature decreases because there is a decline in the pressure and entropy is remaining constant during this expansion process. Process 4 to 1 is constant pressure heat rejection. Here, this is the minimum pressure of the cycle here. So, P4 is equal to P1. Now, here we will come across one important ratio that is the pressure ratio. So, pressure ratio is denoted by R suffix P. This will be maximum pressure by minimum pressure. So, P2 by P1 which is also equal to P3 by P4 because process 2 to 3 is constant pressure process, P2 is equal to P3 and 4 to 1 is also constant pressure process. So, P4 is equal to P1. Now, heat supplied. Heat supplied is during process 2 to 3 which is constant pressure process. So, therefore, MCP T3 minus T2 we get. Then, heat rejected. Heat rejected is during process 4 to 1. This is also constant pressure process. So, MCP T4 minus T1 we get. Now, work done, work done is heat supplied minus heat rejected. We can write this as MCP T3 minus T2 minus T4 plus T1. So, this is work done. Now, 
the thermal efficiency is work done by heat supplied we can write this as heat supplied minus heat rejected by heat supplied or 1 minus heat rejected by heat supplied now substituting the formulas of heat rejected and heat supplied here the thermal efficiency will be 1 minus mcp t4 minus t1 by mcp t3 minus t2 so these two will get cancelled and the thermal efficiency will be 1 minus t4 minus t1 by t3 minus t2 this we got in terms of temperatures let us get the thermal efficiency in terms of the pressure ratio. For that, we need to get T3 and T2 in terms of the pressure ratio. So, for that, let us use process 1 to 2. Process 1 to 2 is isentropic compression. So, PV power gamma equal to constant. So, from this, T2 by T1 is equal to P2 by P1 whole to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. P2 by P1 is nothing but the pressure ratio that we have seen. So, therefore, Rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Now, from this, we can write simply T2 is equal to T1 into Rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Now, let us see process 3 to 4. Process 3 to 4 is also isentropic process and here T3 by T4 is equal to P3 by P4 whole to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. P3 by P4 is Rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, from this T3 equal to T4 into Rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Now, substituting these two in the efficiency formula, we get thermal efficiency is 1 minus T4 minus T1 by T4 into Rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus T1 into Rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. 1 minus T4 minus T1 by in the denominator let us take Rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma common then we get T4 minus T1 here these two will get cancelled and finally, the air standard efficiency or thermal efficiency of this Breton cycle will be 1 minus 1 by Rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. So, this is the thermal efficiency in terms of the pressure ratio. Now, let us learn something interesting here. See, we know process 1 to 2. This is PV power gamma equal to constant. So, from this, we can write P1 V1 power gamma equal to P2 V2 power gamma. We can write P2 by P1 is equal to V1 by V2 whole power gamma. P2 by P1 is nothing but the pressure ratio whereas v1 by v2 is compression ratio so we can use rp equal to rc to the power gamma suppose if i substitute this in the efficiency formula then the thermal efficiency which is 1 minus 1 by rp to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma this can be written as 1 minus 1 by 
आर सी टू दावर गामा होल पावर गामा माइनस वन बाय गामा दीज टू विल गेट कैंसिल वी गेट वन माइनस वन बाय आर सी टू दावर गामा माइनस वन ऑल्सो एज द फॉर्मुला ऑफ थर्मल एफिशियंसी नाउ हियर let us take one very important point here that if compression ratio of auto cycle and breton cycle are equal then their efficiencies will be equal because both are having the thermal efficiency formula as 1 minus 1 by rc power gamma minus 1 gamma the adiabatic index for air can be considered as 1.4 if the compression ratio rc is same in case of auto and breton cycle then the efficiency will be same for auto and breton cycle for more videos like this please subscribe to our youtube channel if you want to learn more interesting things from our expert faculty members please download ace online app the link will be available in the description box below thank you